What I learned in talent Estonia. I learned that a direct way to get to Estonia is via London, which is where I met my good friend Matt. Hello, Jason. Hi, Matt. Remember Matt? You remember Matt. I learned that the easiest thing about EasyJet is how easy it is to not eat their food. Oof. But a man's gotta eat. Tallinn is the capital and biggest city in Estonia with about 400,000 residents. Estonia is pretty up there. Bordered by Russia and Latvia, it's only 50 miles from Helsinki. It became part of the USSR in 1940 and gained its independence in 1991. We wanted to go to Estonia for two main reasons. One, nobody knows a damn thing about this place. And two, Rob. Oh hey! Rob is our music making buddy from LA whose family lives in town and he's been coming here since he was a little kid. He was instrumental to our Estonian integration and the first person I've ever met who can play the conal or knows what one even is. The first place we stayed was in the Kalamaya neighborhood, an old fishing village filled with pre-Soviet wooden houses. It would seem over the past decade that this neighborhood has become somewhat of a hipster haven. So I'm sure it's been interesting to see how things are shaking out. Most Estonians that I saw were in pretty good shape. I think it might have something to do with the exercise equipment all over town. Our apartment came with a sick ass horse that we named Seabiscuit. Hey, Seabiscuit! Public transportation is free to Tallinn residents, so that's what we pretended to be. All we had to do was be completely devoid of any human emotion. Just kidding. When you're trying to settle into a new place, you gotta get some supplies. Bacon? Yes. Considering how popular scooters are here, you'd think Estonia was stuck in the 90s. Not the case, my friend. They invented Skype, they vote online, and they ranked second in adult literacy out of all the countries in the world. Which is great for them, but sucks for me because this language is confusing. We grabbed a bus to the Talon Song Festival Grounds. It can hold up to 100,000 people, and the stage itself can hold 25,000. Back in the day, Rob's mom was in a band that performed here. Nearby are a bunch of parks that apparently promote drinking in public. And this is also where Matt perfected his old man walking with hands behind his back move. Here we come. This is Dave. He's a young bartender who recognizes the lost art of using a pocket comb. He speaks like 10 languages and is far wiser than his 21 years. I learned that you can find one of the most generous people around here because people have lived a shitty life being invaded all the time, being uh, occupied by Russians, Germans, Dutch and if they come out of the shitty life, they learn to appreciate other people. Know what else they appreciate? Dried fish. Like Scandinavians, Estonians share love for fishes and meats and this market is where you can find them. Matt bought some wooden spoons from a Russian man who sounded like Bruce Lee. And the man threw in some jam for free. Uh, jam, take like a present too. Thank you. But after we gave it a good sniff, <laughs> we knew why it was free. <laughs> you know what I like? Betting on horses. Just kidding, that's not really my thing. But people have been betting on horses since the break of dawn. We found our way to the Hippodrome to watch women's harness racing. And I learned that betting on horses can get pretty heated. I wanted to fit in, so I pretended to bet by waving my arms around and making a lot of noise. And then I pretended to win, so I bought the boys around of the good stuff. We explored Paderai Prison. It was functional up until 2004, and back in the day, inmates were tortured and murdered here during the times of Soviet rule and the KGB. It's pretty much the set of Saw. I learned that even in prison, a man's gotta eat. We met a teeny tiny little baby pug. The pug belonged to Roland, who just bought this sick ass lotter for 400 euros earlier that day. We hit it off, so Roland invited us to come to work with him. Turns out Roland served in the Estonian Defense Force in Afghanistan and now works at a shooting range. Although I'm from Alaska, I'm not a huge gun guy, but there is something to be said about running around with a live firearm, being screamed at by an Estonian man while dressed as a chemistry teacher. From time to time, we've been known to hit the town. There's no shortage of great places to put alcohol in your face hole. The drinking is cheap here, so when in Rome, we found an entire bar made of ice, and they call it 
ice bar. Everything is ice. In Estonian, the word for cheers sounds like turbo sex. Turbo sex. Turbo sex. They have their own style of pool, which is pretty much like American 8-Ball, but instead of solids and stripes, they have yellow and red. This is Margit. She's a producer and splits her time between Tallinn and Helsinki. She showed us the wild and wonderful world of Russian bars. So we showed her something in return. I learned today a new sign. It's called Shocker. And I'm not going to tell what it is, but it's, it's kind of cool. I learned that it's important to start your day off right. It's a time to bond, a time to reflect, a time for my Vladimir Putin impersonation. I learned that it's possible to have the hiccups off and on for a full 24 hours. Jesus, I hit myself right now. Yep, 24 hours. I think we got it. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi. We went to grandma's house. Well, Rob's grandma's house. Rob's mom was also there. Between the two of them, we were spoiled rotten. The anchovies were a curveball. But nice. I learned from Rob that the best way to get herring down is with lots of potatoes. I tried my best to compliment the chef. Vetlev? Yeah, vetlev. Vetlev? Yeah. 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 Grandma's got the ultimate cat, Kiku. One day, with no prompting whatsoever, Kiku started using the toilet like a human. I'm sorry, but that's incredible. Matt had been battling a cold for the past couple days, and once Grandma caught wind of it, she whipped up a vial of propolis, a legitimate remedy for thousands of years. It's a resinous mixture collected by honeybees Ooh. and some other stuff. They're boozy? Yeah. <laughs> this is a Connell, and Rob used this to make the song you're listening to right now. Rob most likely inherited his talent from his mother, Melika, and I'm guessing that she gets it from Grandma because Grandma shreds. For our last night in Tallinn, we hit up Old Hansa. Historically accurate in decor and food, it's about as Game of Thrones as you can get. You drink out of chalices, eat bear, and the servers are dressed like wenches. Even the bathrooms are tight. Tallinn is a mysterious and wondrous land filled with beauty, hope, bees, napping, guns, and the Baltic Sea. There it is, touch the Baltic Sea. Much thanks to the Amiers for curing Matthew and showing me one of the most interesting places I've ever been. Turbo Sex.